Welcome, San Antonio. We are back for episode two. That's right, episode two for the Octane I- Athletic Performance Show. We're going to be giving um, people in San Antonio a lot of information about fitness to just dominate your fitness and then dominate your life. So today we're going to be answering a question specifically that talks about will a high protein diet help me um, with better lead to better weight loss? That's a question. So. Um, Specifically, I, I know you know in general that there's a lot of ways that protein is really going to help you. And the biggest way that I've noticed with people, and I, I experienced myself personally, is satiety. So feeling full. So a long time ago, I used to, you know back when I was in college, I would just have you know cereal or oatmeal, um, and I would get uh, hungry within about an hour uh, later. And then you know I learned about. Um, having protein you know in the morning how that's important and then from there I um, I started you know I was full longer and that that one hour will turn into two to three hours so and then learning the science behind it it's because protein is is broken down a lot slower so it's broken down your body from two to three hours so that is um, you know if you're full you're not gonna be reaching for you know a fatty food you're not gonna be reaching for you know uh, maybe some donuts somebody brought it to the office because I know that's our, our wonderful clients here at Octane Athletic Performance they talk about people bringing in you know birthday cakes donuts um, just staff bringing in other you know unhealthy foods for them so um, you know that's something to keep in mind uh, you know the protein does help uh, with that um, something else to keep in, in mind is a study that we went through and we got the uh, you know a lot of the information from the study right here, they actually looked at that specific thing. They looked at protein, how a high team protein diet versus a um, low or a standard protein diet, what they called it, um, led to better physical changes. So what they noticed, um, first of all, to find actually what a high protein diet was, that was about just under 8.8 grams per body weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds, then they're looking at just under um, 160 grams of protein per day you know break that up you know that's about 20 if you have six meals a day that's about 25 grams of protein per day so that's that's you know and that's six meals per day so that's quite a bit of protein that they're having you know throughout the day um, so versus a standard protein diet which was half of that so 75 grams you know of protein or three meals of 25 uh, grams of protein each meal so what they noticed what was pretty much across the board everything got better when you had the high protein diet the body fat loss was um, more they lost about about five pounds more of fat um, with people who had the high protein diet um, they even saw more endurance that's something that people tell me all the time I want better endurance you know um, I just want to get my endurance up I want more energy so even their endurance was higher a lot of times we associate protein especially as fitness professional protein with like bodybuilding right getting the, those those guns like uh, but but we didn't see that as much with the um, we saw that also with the endurance that their endurance increased so uh, they did a, a performance test on a treadmill and they looked at um, see how long it took before the people fatigued well the people with the low protein diet you know they lasted about 18 minutes high protein diet was 19 minutes so um, you know, so they saw better changes with the uh, in- endurance in that. Also, you know, the, the knee strength was different. So lower body strength was significantly better with the high protein diet as well. One thing that was interesting, the upper body strength actually did a hand grip strength test and they didn't see, you know, a big, um, you know, improvement um, in, the, in the high protein diet. They actually saw better results with the low protein diet. So that was, out of about eight or nine different tests, that was the one that you know the low, teen, low protein diet um, you know, saw better results with. But that might have been just a fluke, I don't know. Um, what we're gonna have now is I wanna give you something useful, something that you can have, because right now, you know, I've been talking about protein, 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 what's some good protein? So our man Will, behind the camera, is gonna come right around here, and he's gonna talk to us about some examples of good proteins to have throughout the day. Right. Um, <clears throat> from a lot of the people that I've spoken to in the past, uh, they, they think that you know dieting is very bland, uh, boring. Um, it's something that you're not looking forward to when that's really not the case. A lot of people think chicken, eggs, um, just very basic stuff, but there's actually a lot more that people are overlooking that are great for your diet um, and actually are packed with protein. 
such as fish, uh, not only just um, you know cod, salmon, tuna, tuna steaks. You could even get it uh, a little bit in, with some sushi, um, flounder. Also with uh, your poultry, such as um, chicken, ground turkey, uh, turkey breasts, and then other meats. Um, there's ground beef, ham, uh, flaming uh, flaming um, and then also don't forget that legumes also do uh, have a lot of protein in them as well, such as your black beans, your soybeans, your lentils, um, stuff of that nature. And then don't forget that uh, your dairy, your cheeses also do have protein in them as well, um, such as milk. And, and we yogurts. love those. And that being said, we love those those first ones he mentioned. We were he did we he did go through them in like more of a high protein to low protein. So you know, kind of like we're saying, you want to make sure that we um, you know check to see what the nutrition facts are with. All the foods you're having you know one common mistake we see is you know people thinking uh, peanut butter is more of a high protein food well that's gonna be more of a high fat food so um, what that means is you can get a lot of calories um, from because fat per gram is gonna have a lot more calories so keep in mind you want to have some of those first foods that uh, will said you know like fish you know chicken um, red meat those are gonna be some really good ones if we're looking, if you're a vegetarian, then you're gonna, you know, then you're gonna have to have a lot more of foods to hit your protein, um, hit that high protein diet. That's gonna help you lose more fat, increase your endurance, and just help you, you know, dominate your fitness. Good job, Will. Appreciate Good it. Good job, Will. Thank you very much. All right, so um, I hope you got something valuable out of that. Would love to hear from you guys. Definitely post a question below if you want to come on into Octane. You know, we're right here in the medical center. We'd love to have you guys. Feel free to call us at 781-1888. Um, and until then, have a great workout tonight. Get after that workout. And if you're going to work out tomorrow morning, get ready. Get a good night's sleep. And then um, get ready to attack in the morning. Thank you.